Hello everybody, it's Lucy Wolf, your sleep consultant and author of The Baby Sleep Solution. I hope that you're really well today. Um, just wanted to check in with you before the weekend, um, just about a couple of little things. Uh, I suppose what I wanted to talk about today was, you know, what's realistic when you're working on your child's sleep? Because obviously I know that I post different messages that I get of people who are doing great after a couple of days or people who have been doing things for a couple of months and things are working out for them and I guess every journey is different just as every family unit is different every baby is different every parent is different and things improve based on lots of different factors so I suppose the first thing I would say to you is that in my experience it takes a lot of time to improve sleep in general and that I do expect certain improvements in the early days but it takes three four plus weeks to really start to feel like you're achieving your sleep goals because there are just so many things that affect your sleep and like even at that you may feel like things are working really quite well and then you might feel you hit a roadblock because so many other things have a contributory factor to your child's sleep even something as small as you know somebody visiting close to bedtime can often then have an impact on that particular bedtime or even a parent going away for a day and then coming back can have an impact on your child and how they process things so I'm always trying to keep you as realistic as possible but also to keep you feeling heartened that you're on the right track and you know when parents send me different messages and you know that I can't reply to everything because I have a private practice here that I have to spend a lot of time with working individually with clients and they have me um, to answer all their questions. So again, I do my best to dip in and out, but you'll appreciate that um, I'm just not in a position as a sole practitioner to answer all of the questions that come in. But you can see that I do my best to create the content here that resonates with the questions that are coming in all of the time. In a general sleep improvement journey, once it's age appropriate, so beyond six months, and then I guess depending on the decisions that you're making, I suppose the first improvement that I would anticipate is that maybe bedtime is improving with the new approach, so that maybe it's getting easier, possibly that it's getting quicker, and ideally that it's starting to happen without upset if there has been upset and that you can start to see the bedtime kind of formalizing a little bit more and although you'll still be in stage one being very available to your baby you'll start to maybe get a sense that they don't need you as much and I suppose within the first week or so I would normally expect to see and hear that report it's the overnight piece that takes a long time I generally find and I, I guess I find here in my practice that it takes maybe um, 10 to 14 nights to start to feel like the nights are shifting and then you still have early rising and we still have nap issues so I suppose the process improves in the segments that I suggest that sleep is operating within so sleep segment bedtime probably starts to improve first um, sleep segment overnight and again it depends on what you're doing and what you're changing and how you're operating overnight but again we start to feel that maybe we see reduced waking um, and if we're not we might need to have a look at that within a kind of two to three week period but you still maybe would be experiencing early rising in the sleep segment early um, and that that might go on for another week or two or even three as you work through it. And again, children do struggle in the early hours. And then it, naps are, again, we often see that nap one improves similarly to bedtime. So those two, they characteristically seem quite similar. But then nap two is quite a tricky customer and very similar to sleep segment 
overnight so it takes a bit longer it might take three weeks or more for that nap to start to get easier and to become more established and then you still might report that you have early rising and your naps are still short in duration and again you know if over, after three or four week period your naps aren't naturally extending and again in the book I probably say after 10 or 12, 14 days if the naps aren't improving but certainly after three or four weeks if your naps aren't extending beyond 30 or 40 minutes certainly I'd work on at least one of those naps to try and see could I extend them and then again I would encourage you that you start moving through those stages you know after nights four to seven that you start moving away from the cot side even though overnight you'll probably stay beside them for a little bit longer but then you start to sync up those positions so I guess what I'm trying to suggest is that I think it takes a long time to Im Im improve the situation that you're coming from if it happens quicker for you obviously I think that's wonderful but obviously if it takes you longer I also think that's really really normal um I work with people for a month and even in that month we might need to do more work uh thereafter and it's never straightforward sickness happens teething happens and it's a funny time of year as well at the moment because we've got holidays we've got people coming and going and that has an impact on your child's sleep as well and that's you know before we look at developmental stages and that so I suppose look I just wanted to kind of touch base with you this morning just to suggest that if don't compare your journey to anybody else's it's your journey it's individual it's unique the decisions you're making are that too the way your child responds to that is also going to be unique but with confidence and predictability and belief I firmly feel that you can start to move forward into this growth of sleep space that I'm always talking about there's loads of information on my website uh, sleepmatters.ie if you don't have the book already it's the baby sleep solution the link is in the bio and there's an audible version as well available in the UK and Australia and you can purchase that through Amazon and if you would like to work with me directly then you can email lucy at sleepmatters.ie and I look forward to seeing you here again soon